Welcome to another update from Force to 13. In this one we look at Tropical Cyclone Lily which is upgraded to Tropical Cyclone status by the Tropical Cyclone Warning Centre over in Jakarta nearly 24 hours ago. And here's the local information. They have a 9 decimal 2 degrees south, 129 degrees east. And it's about 570 kilometres from Banta, south westerly, and from Kepang, 590 kilometres or 320 miles east of that location. Ten minute maximum winds of forty knots or seventy five kilometers an hour. Three second maximum gusts fifty five knots. Central pressure is nine ninety seven millibars. And the Joint Typhoon Warning Center's latest advisory shows that Liddy is located near 9 decibel 1 degree south 128 decibel 9 degrees east maximum sustained winds 40 knots gusting 50 knots tropical cyclone Lily 26s located around 236 nautical miles north northwest of Darwin and has tracked over the last six hours in a south southwesterly direction at four knots. Animated enhanced infrared satellite imagery depicts a consolidating system with improved deep convective banding wrapping into the low level circulation center. A ASCAT image shows the world defined circulation with numerous 35 to 40 knot winds supporting the current position and the current intensity assessment of 40 knots upper level analysis indicates a favorable environment with moderate vertical wind shear offset by excellent poleward outflow however the uh, cyclone is experiencing dry air interaction with land and are expected to hinder development. Lily is forecast to turn westward as it tracks under the steering influence of a strong low to mid level subtropical ridge enhanced to the south and will track over East Timor by the 36 hour mark. The cyclone will intensify slightly to a peak of 45 knots by the 12 hour mark but will weaken steadily after the 12 hours due to the mentioned factors and increased frictional effects. Numerical model guidance is in poor agreement, therefore there is high uncertainty in the exact forecast track. However, the system is unlikely to track poleward due to the presence of a strong low level ridge to the south through the forecast period and wave height is at 10 feet. And on the screen is the center's current track chart. On the screen is the NOAA floaters. Sea service temperatures around 29-30 degrees Celsius. And whilst we look at the NOAA floaters, the Bureau of Meteorology via the Tropical Cyclone Outlook for the Western Region updated around 1400 hours yesterday uh, local time Tropical Cyclone Lily was located about 480 kilometres north-northwest of Darwin 
and is moving slowly south but should start moving west or north to west but she's expected to weaken below tropical cyclone intensity during Friday or early Saturday and is unlikely to move into the western region and they have uh, percentages remaining very low. The latest total precipitable water, you can clearly see where Lily is in the East Timor region. However, we have an area of uh, interest in the Westpac and invest 94p to the south of Hori Ara. EPS track guidance. We will continue to bring the latest information if it's not on this channel, the AU channel will be the place. Late cycle intensity guidance. And they have it as a tropical storm on the AU scale. It's a category one, but very weak cyclone. Upper level divergence is very strong, especially for invest 94p wind shear the red's unfavorable the green's favorable the 850 millibar vorticity clearly shows the uh, two systems and the GFS precipitation model and this is uh, extracted from the Pivotal Weather website. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, our YouTube page youtube.com forward slash force13, on Facebook under the same name force13 and our Twitter handle, it's at force13 if you wish to get in touch. You can also add force13 on Skype and my personal account on Discord fool13 at extension 9094.